Now, going forward, Gavi will be doing its uh, replenishment run for the next few years in October. We would like to appeal to the generosity of countries and organizations and the private sector. Open your purse. Because we need to continue the momentum in order to save children, mothers, and you know, achieve the MDGs, four, five, and it's actually beyond four and five. That brings me to, to, to highlight the importance of your point. You know, the uh, vaccine for pneumonia and the vaccine for diarrhea. These are the two big killers of children. If you invest in those two vaccines, you save another million or two of children. So why not? So the answer is easy. Why not invest in those? Then I'd like to follow on the point made by Norway as well as uh, Amy from USAID. We also need to be honest uh, with ourselves and be accountable to all of you. We need better money. So what can we do with the existing money already that is available? Have we maximized on the buck in terms of increasing efficiency? Reducing the cost of the vaccines, that's what one of the functions of Gavi is doing. Driving the price down. Well, not to the point that people cannot make profit. I'm also concerned. I'm not here to speak for the private sector. The private sector is not a charitable organization, let's be honest. They need to make profit. But when you drive the profit down to the point that it is not profitable, they exit. And we have seen this in the past in the vaccine market. And that also gives us a challenge. When nobody you know, produces a vaccine, you have powerful intervention. If people don't make it, you can't deliver it to children and to, to, to the babies.